We've got some big snowy mountains in the background as well. Wow. Super cool. <laughs> I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 270 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. Good morning Bumblebee. Good morning Bumblebee. And we're here in the mountains of Chile Woo! with... Nikos. <laughs> Hola, bon dia. <laughs> and if you guys have seen our series uh, back in Brazil, you'll have seen that we rode with Nikos from Florianopolis through the mountains of Santa Catarina and we had an amazing time and we did a lot of beautiful moto camping which is what we're doing right now. Woo! So let me show you where we're all riding today. We are here just over the border into Chile and today we're going to be continuing on this road linking up with the Ruta 7 which takes us up and around here this map just has this part because this is actually a map of Argentina, but we can still show you our chilly route for now. We'll be continuing up through Coyhaque and as far north as we can get on this road, really. Yes, it was an epic, epic camp tonight. And oh my God, the road just when we entered Chile is just mind blowing. So I really can't wait to see what is ahead. It's already eight o'clock and we have to pack up everything. So better hit the road, let's go. Yesterday our GoPro fell off. It completely broke. And now we just try to fix it with foot tape. <laughs> <laughs> Everything we're fixing it's, <laughs> is with foot tape. This stuff is really good for fixing things. <laughs> I think that should just about work for today. Yeah, give it a go. So despite our tape fix, actually the GoPro will not turn on at the moment. So we're down to two GoPros, so we'll have to Go on ahead without it. Ready to rock and roll? Yeah. Let's do it. What a cool place to ride around, eh? Wow. Just got to get myself back up onto the road, which is up here. Yeah. Good to go. Ready to hit the road. All right, let's do it. Nice views in the morning. Oh, maybe a little bit more to the right here. Yeah. <laughs> ah, these ah. horses came to visit us yesterday. Hello, good morning, guys. We could hear them running around outside the tent in the night. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so cool. Oh man, we have a little bit of a charging crisis here. <laughs> All phones are dead, the drone is dead, power bunker is dead. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, and take it nice and easy. Epic views in the morning, eh? Yeah, what a stunning place to camp and a stunning place to start the day. <laughs> it's like literally starting the day on the most beautiful ride that we've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. Wow, wow, wow. wow. That's Don't look down, my love. Yep. <laughs> oh, look at this cliff. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Zona de Curvas Peligrosas. The zone of dangerous bends. Uh oh. Yep. Getting some lake views again this morning. So this lake is called Lake Buenos Aires on the Argentinian side, but actually on the Chilean side, they've got their own name for the lake. So the lake is like a split name. 
uh, the Chileans, I think they call it Lake General Carrera. Oh, we're getting pretty high up. Man, there's absolutely crazy road here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but our road is basically over there, <laughs> hugging the edge of that giant cliff. Wow. We've got some big snowy mountains in the background as well. Wow. <sighs> Super cool. <laughs> What a beautiful ride for the morning! Oh my god! Favorite! <laughs> we are coming now into the town of Puerto Guadal. Just here. What a location for a town, hey? <laughs> so epic, man. Yeah, we've said that quite a few times, but really, yeah. what a location for a town. Yeah, because it's like really in the middle of nowhere, you know, you have to take a 150 kilometer dirt road <laughs> to get in here and then to get out here it's another 400 kilometers or a thousand or I don't know how long but it's crazy. It's an exclusive town that's for sure, exclusive. Yeah. So we're just gonna fuel up and have our first break of the day. Yeah, let's also see if we can find something cheesy. <laughs> Super pretty town. Hola. <laughs> uh, look, I think he's checking the level of fuel with a dipstick. How cool is that? Super cool. That's like really old school. We're just finding out if we can use card here. Yeah, card is okay? Perfect. Okay, awesome. The card worked. So we can get fuel here in Chile, which is great. <laughs> oh, what a time we're living in, hey? Coming here to the middle of nowhere and then we can pay with credit card. <laughs> I love it. Let's go check out what this place has. Buenos yeah. dias. Ah, pan aquí. Ooh. Ooh, queijo. Perfecto, gracias, gracias. Okay. Woohoo! Got something for breakfast? Let's eat. Oh, yes. 
and we filled up all of our water here at this place as well they were nice enough to let us fill all that up so we're going to be good to go so we've had a good break a good recharge and now it's back to the road of dreams <laughs> it just gets better and better i just can't believe this road man look at that in a couple of miles we'll be linking up with the ruta 7 also known as the carretera austral the southern road of chile and people have told us that this road is just amazing as well so i think it's just going to keep getting better and better look at the blue of the water wow it's so vivid it's crazy wow unbelievable here we go we've hit the carretera austral there's a hitchhiker here <laughs> and it is 265 kilometers now on this beautiful road to Koihake. Lunch break! Ah. <laughs> We've got a beautiful spot right next to this little river and it's just absolutely stunning and relaxing and tranquil. And we've got some bread, some rice crackers, some cheese. We've got some peanuts and we just brewed ourselves a nice coffee as well. And yeah, it's the summer at the moment here and we have so nice wildflowers. Look at that. So lovely. Yeah, the whole place is just so colorful and so beautiful. So it's round two for the GoPro on the front. We've managed to get it to turn on now uh, after charging it for a bit. Seems to be okay. <clears throat> and then we've just put a lot of tape around it. Sort of a very MacGyver way of fixing it. And hopefully that'll be in a good position. So we'll give it a go. But we might be back to three GoPros now, baby. plate doing its job again so all refreshed from our extended lunch break and it was an absolutely beautiful place to stop we were just waiting for the perfect place we were like when we see a place with a nice stream you know a nice little tranquil setting then let's just chill there for a bit we needed that because this road is a little bit tough and a little bit long we've decided that we're going to ride for two hours more today and then we're going to find a place to camp so we can camp a little bit earlier than yesterday because it was a little bit on the border of sunset by the time we actually stopped and then it was like make camp quick eat dinner quick go to bed yeah it's nice to have actually a little bit of time and enjoy the place as well yeah to the next major town it's actually still another 100 miles 160 kilometers yeah and in between us and the town there is actually not much going on <laughs> except the most beautiful nature in the world <laughs> <laughs> it really is a once in a lifetime road this is unbelievable got some more of these beautiful flowers lining the road we must have hit just the right season for this flower yeah look at it wow 
it almost makes me forget about the million potholes on the road <laughs> oh yep another another boring cliff face another boring <laughs> snowy mountain <laughs> man you got anything new for us patagonia <laughs> oh my god this road though <sighs> Seriously, this, we faced it all on this road. Some bits you're like, man, clear the gravel. And then with all these potholes, you're like, yeah, a little bit of gravel would be nice. <laughs> and every hour or so, I'm having to stop and tighten up these bolts that have basically, for some reason, since they started loosening, we put the new bolt in that we found in Gobernador Gregores. Gobernador Gregores, it's quite hard to say that. And since then, the bolts just keep undoing themselves. Even if we put tape over the bolts, so that's going to be a thing now. Epic. So the road condition has become very, very different again. And now it's just very, very loose gravel. And this is one of the toughest road conditions we've had for a long time. Yeah, we are just sliding around. A lot of sliding around. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's really soft. Woo, Jesus. Oh, man. <laughs> this is just, what is going on here? Oh, pavimento, 100 meters. Don't get too excited. <laughs> is it really? Is it no. true? No way. It's true. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Yeah, da, da, da. yes. So we've just entered the craziest landscape. Look at this. Surrounded by huge rocky canyons and like multicolored mountains. Really, really cool. So we're on the hunt for a place to spend the night, but uh, because it's no longer a dirt road, it's a little bit more populated and there's a, a lot less wild camping options, to be honest. Yeah, we might have to push on for a little bit longer. Yeah. Don't know yet. Yeah, it looks like this area around us is mostly a reserve national park here in chile you're not allowed to wild camp in national parks okay we found a place <coughs> on i overlander just outside this little village but it's not the best way to get there must admit <coughs> it's actually a very very bad way to get there <coughs> but we'll give it a go Yes! <laughs> what do you think? Oh, okay, no? No, vi no viendo? No. And there's a little river. Uh, perfect. Good, no? Beautiful. Oh. Have a look down here. Look at that. Not a bad place. A little bit late to arrive. I think it's like 7.30 now. But we're here. It's time to set up camp. We made it! Hope you're alive! <laughs> <laughs> yep, we've got the camp set up. Nikos's palace. And the little green, whatever that is. A bubble And Nikos, does your bike have a name? A nombre? La Poderosa. <laughs> La Poderosa. What does it mean? La Poderosa is a power. Power? Uh, power motorcycle. Motorcycle power? Motorcycle power! But yes, we've made it here to this little village and this is a really beautiful camping spot. We've actually got some neighbours. Hi neighbours! <laughs> wow, we had some really, really epic views today. It was super cool. Sometimes a little bit tricky, sometimes a little bit challenging, but all in all, it was a really cool day, a really cool day riding. It was. I mean, when we got to that tarmac, after so much dirt road it was uh, quite a big relief actually <laughs> because i mean mile after mile after mile it is tough it is tough 
it is. But it's worth it. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. 